Thank you, Ben. During the COVID pandemic, we're seeing so many things we never thought we'd see before. For example, did you ever think that you would see an opera staged in a parking garage? Paula Dutman took in a performance that shows how a crisis can lead to unexpected creativity and how everyone involved reaps the benefits. So I can honestly say I've been to many an opera over many a decade, and honestly, it is great to be back downtown and back at the opera house. And I can also honestly say that this is my very first ever drive through opera. Michigan Opera Theater opened its season in a most unconventional way. Unable to safely distance and pack in the usual patrons, it staged the production, Twilight Gods, as a drive through experience. And don't go five miles an hour, no burning your tires. It was an adventure, a first for the city and many patrons. It's really different. <laughs> it's like a drive through opera. Um, who does that? Opera is a way of making love in public. It's amazing. It's immersive, it's absolutely all-encompassing, and Wagner is the pinnacle. She texted me and said, do you want me to bring popcorn? And I'm like, yes, that's a wonderful idea. I noticed you dressed up. I did, I did, it felt appropriate. Prove positive that creative minds can't be stopped, not even for a pandemic. I'm so inspired by all of the artists and all of the technicians and the instrumentalists and the designers who realize that this is an opportunity for us to think differently and to really seize that opportunity uh, to not just apologize for the fact that we can't do opera as usual, but to actually say this is a great opportunity to think about opera in a brand new way. Every seat was a front row seat to the action. Each act was performed on a different level of the Opera House Garage. Much like a drive-in movie, we were instructed on how to tune our radios to get the live audio. Despite the damp chill, the innovation was fun, creative, and often the actors would actually approach your vehicle, bring the audience into the thrill of it all. Even on my favorite operas, I always get at least one nap in, but there's too much going on. As with all operas, there is passion and love, confusion, murder, mayhem, and madness. And even the garage itself became part of the set. It had fun, current, snappy music. It was a spectacle for the eyes. <laughs> And those who trusted their evening for this grand experiment were not disappointed. Oh my God. Okay, so don't take my word for it. Take the word of my 17 year old who said, oh my gosh, this is really, really good. I forgot I was in a garage. Listen, Karen, I'm a firm believer that to remain relevant means to just basically stay in one place, to hold your spot. But this was smart, it was creative, it was innovative, it actually elevated the art form. And get this, if you think you missed anything, yeah, you did, you really did. But the Opera House has actually figured out how to live stream some of their live performances that you're able to see for free, just contact the ticket office. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I love so this idea. Fun. See, this would be something cool I'd like to bring my kids to, to kind of expose them to something that they haven't seen. I'm wondering, your 17-year-old, yes. what was her perspective in terms of what was so cool about it? And also, how long was the show? Okay, so the show's only an hour. So, okay. it, so it's not like one of those five-hour operas. So it, it's only an hour, but the biggest thing was the fact that sometimes it looked like they were coming right at us. And so we were in the car squealing. You know, it was just a great family evening and another way to introduce her to, to the art form. And she loved it. I really love it. What a creative idea to, to reinvent themselves. And I love your energy on this one, Paula. I can tell you loved it. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, just a little. Yeah. <laughs>